beautiful darling. I am fat too. If you have short legs like me, you probably want your jeans to make your legs look longer and leaner. Some of the trends I'm seeing this fall and winter do exactly the opposite. So let's dive right in. What not to wear this season? When I first heard about the name, I was so intrigued. Does it look like what I think it looks like? The concept is to combine wide leg jeans with taper leg. The two exact opposite. Ta-da! Here's our lovely balloon leg shape. Is this like mom jeans on steroids? It has a high rise with wide leg shape, but because it tapers at the legs, the legs are extremely curved. Levi's has a balloon jeans in their premium collection. According to Levi's, they have brought us this fashion forward design based on all things good about 80s fashion. I love Levi's, but I don't want any part of my body look like balloon, let alone my legs. Taper legs are very hard to handle and it's especially challenging if you already have short legs because it tells the eye exactly where your legs end, which is not to our advantage if you have short legs like me. I have nothing against mom jeans. I think they can totally work on someone who is short. This one is one of my most comfortable jeans. It's from Express. The key is to make sure overall is still slim fitted. All the mom jeans have extra space in the hips and the thighs. And that's what makes it the most comfortable, especially if you have a curvier bottom. If you have the pear-shaped body, you will love all that extra space. However, if you have short legs, you do want to make sure the overall volume is under control. Otherwise, this exaggerated balloon shape is only going to dwarf someone who already has short legs. Now, the low-rise jeans. I did a separate video on all the fashion trends this fall and winter. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure you do. Some of you left the comments below under that video that you do not think low-rise jeans is coming back. I hope you're right because it is totally terrifying for me. However, more and more stores are carrying them. And they're no longer just the fashion-forward influencers. I am saying our everyday kind of stores, Abercrombie and Express, which dresses millions of people. So low rise, it's definitely gaining popularity again. And according to some popular fashion media, their prediction by 2025, everybody is going to be wearing low rise. I know, I know. I was looking for a pair of low rise jeans I could show you. And I found this pair in my ready to donate pile. This is from my favorite denim company, Seven. I got this more than 10 years ago. These are like two inches under my belly button. I have a long torso, short leg body type compared with women of my height. I am 5'2". And when I wear this, I feel like they can make my torso look even longer than my legs. If you already have short legs like me, low rise jeans can totally make that even more obvious. But that is not the worst. Here's the thing, unless you always work out and you got killer six packs that you wanted to show off, if you have any kind of tummy, like me, the low rise jeans can look like a disaster. I know that from first hand experience. When I wear these jeans, I can only stand and I cannot sit down because if I sit down, I feel like things are pouring out. This can totally expose your midsection. On top of that, when I sit down, it just feels so uncomfortable because it makes you feel like your tummy is cut in half. When I wear this, I feel like I'm trying to pull it up all day long. Now, here's a caveat. If you have a short torso and short rise, some of you leave the comments below that you are so tired of the high rise everything trend because they don't ever look flattering on you, which is very true because you have the opposite issue. You don't want anything high rise. They can make your torso look even shorter. In that case, what I consider low rise may probably fit you as a mid rise. That could actually be the most comfortable rise for you. You don't want your legs to look like balloon? How about making them look like barrel? The barrel jeans. According to Who What Wear, a very popular fashion site, this is the coolest 
silhouette to invest in 2021. Apparently, we're getting more and more innovative with our jeans leg shape post-pandemic. These are very similar to the balloon jeans. They have high waist, a lot of volume in the hips and leg shape that taper at the leg and they are cropped. If you're short or if you have short legs, you always want to be careful with volume, especially in the leg. However, there are ways to make them work. In fact, if you wear them the right way, wide leg shape, wide leg jeans or pants, they can totally be one of the most flattering pieces in your closet. I have the entire video on this topic. If you have not watched it yet, make sure you do. The key is you want your wide leg pants or jeans to be long enough and they stay white. The silhouette drapes down beautifully from your hips down, can form the unbroken vertical line for your legs. That's what makes them flattering. When you combine the wide leg shape with taper leg and you chop them off at the crop length, that's gonna be a problem. These have been around for quite a while. There's nothing wrong about cuffing your jeans. However, you don't want them to be very wide. Especially you don't want to be a very sharp contrast color to your jeans. That will only make it even more obvious. Those are pre-made and they're designed with a sharp contrasting color so that the cuffing is very noticeable. And that is only gonna make your legs look cut off. Jeans with a lot of patches. These are on trend this season. Talking about being creative with our jeans post-pandemic. First of all, I'm not totally against idea of patches on jeans. I have seen patch jeans that can look flattering. The key is you want the patches to be the right shape. You want them to be a long vertical shape. You also want the patches to have similar colors to your jeans. It can add dimension to the legs and they can look fashion forward. If the jeans have patches all over and they're big patches in different colors, I don't see them looking flattering even on someone who is tall and with long legs. Alright, my darling, if after all I have said today, you still decided you just like them, you just want to try the balloon jeans or the barrel jeans, your heart wants what it wants. This is what I suggest you do. If you do go for those jeans with a lot of volume in the leg shape and they're tapered at the leg, you want to minimize the volume in your top. You never want to wear this kind of jeans with something that's oversized. When your leg shape already has a lot of volume, you want to make sure your top is fitted to balance out the volume in the leg shape. Besides, you also want to make sure you wear a pair of heels with pointed toe. That is another way to balance out all that volume in the balloon leg shape, in the barrel leg shape. If you have short legs, the pointed toe heels, they're gonna make it, your outfit look more flattering. I don't want you to feel like none of the trends is gonna work on women with short legs. There are trends, very good trends, that can look very flattering on us. I will make a separate video on this topic. For starters, denim on denim. This is a pretty good trend that we can try. This is also called the Canadian tuxedo. This is a very good trend for us. Because when you wear a denim shirt, denim top, with jeans, this is monochromatic dressing. Even when you wear a chambray shirt with your jeans, because your shirt and your jeans are so similar in color and in fabrics, that can form an unbroken vertical line from top to bottom. And that is gonna elongate your frame and it can look very flattering on someone with short legs. Whenever you're choosing your jeans, besides everything we have talked about today, there's one thing that's very critical. That is, how does a denim make your buttocks look? I know not a lot of people talk about it, but we care about it. Most of us do. At least I want my buttocks to look rounded and perky. I never want it to look flat. And I don't know anybody who wants her buttocks to look flat in her jeans. All the jeans are not created equal. There's a lot of designs in the denim that can make your buttocks look better than others. Watch this video. What are the secrets that decide how your buttocks look in the jeans? There's a lot I want to tell you about in this video.